If you're looking for a clean and easy way to capture signatures inside of some arrangement, agreement, or form, then you've come to the right place. I'm diving into this very topic in today's video, and I'm gonna be showing you how you can capture signatures really easily inside of JotForm. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gareth Pronovost, and this channel is all about helping you achieve your goals with no-code tools. It's amazing the things we can do with technology today, using no code and getting out there, not having to write a single line of code, but yet deploy full-on apps that can run our business and streamline our operations. And today we are talking about the very important step of many operations, collecting signatures. But before I get into it, really quickly want to invite you to join me on my next weekly training. Once a week, I hold the same weekly training and I, in, in live format, on a live webinar, teach you how you can leverage automation to reclaim your time. I personally save 20 hours a week of my own time using automation and I wanna help you reach those goals too. So if that's of interest, you wanna see how you can go about framing that and automating your processes, check out the webinar link below. But without further ado, let's get right into the heart of it. Let's talk about JotForm signature element. Now I'm gonna drop into my screen here and you'll see that I've got just my uh, forms opened up on my JotForm account. And I can go ahead and create a new form, either from a template, import a form, or from scratch. And of course, I have the option of doing a classic form or a card form. I really like the card form, by the way. It's like one, one or two questions at a time, and then it scales onto the next page versus the standard classic form, which is just everything all at once. I like the card form because it's a little bit easier and more manageable, and your users don't feel overwhelmed with a dozen questions all up front. But we're talking about signatures. So I'm using the card form example. And when you're ready to drop in a signature, you can pop open the form element on the left-hand side here. And you see that actually in the top section, we have a signature element. Now, this is very different from the widgets because there are some signature widgets. If we look up, we have eSignature, Adobe Sign, Smooth Signature, DocuSign, all of these different tools can be integrated with your JotForm forms, but they're not always necessary. My personal preference in most cases is to just use the standard baked in signature element that JotForm provides. So let's pop back into the basic form elements and we're gonna be looking at that signature element. So I'm gonna drop that in here and you see that it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we can click open the properties, but really all we have is signature, type of description, and a sublabel. So in my description, I can say, by signing here, you are agreeing to our terms and conditions. Uh, whether this is a required element or not, in most cases, a completed form, of course, this will have a number of different questions on it, but it, a completed form is gonna require a signature and a confirmation at the end, so yes. We can adjust the height here. Let's bring that height in, and of course, that elongates the window or the amount of space that someone can uh, you know, have to sign. If we wanna add a sublabel, please sign your name above, for example, we can drop it in there. And of course, we have the ability to duplicate the field. So on the advanced panel, we have the uh, question text. So we can either just call this signature or we can name it something a little bit more aligned with the theme that we're going for. So this could be, please sign your confirmation here. And of course, if you want this to be a hidden field, you can, but I can't see many reasons that we would want to hide a signature uh, on our form. In most cases, of course, this is gonna be something that's required that's a part of signing and filling out the remainder of the form as well. So basically a fancier way than just saying, here's a submit button, click this, right? Another thing that you might want to incorporate alongside of a signature is some sort of confirmation that somebody acknowledges something. So not only are they signing the form, but in some cases you may also want them to check a box. So in this particular case, you could use a yes or no or a single choice option here. And you could say something along the lines of, let me move this above here. And we could say something like, please check this 
to confirm your agreement. This is redundant in many cases to having the signature at the same time, but if you want that additional layer of security, you can include this. And then of course, come in and remove all of the options with except the first option where you can say, I agree. And then again, make this a required field as well. So that when somebody is using this form, they are required to agree and required to sign before they can submit the form. Now, moving on from here, if you click into the signature widget, you will see that this pops up on the side and says, collect legally binding signatures through your forms. The reason that I really like the JotForm tool is because a lot of those other signature softwares have a lot of layers of complexity to them. You have to first, you know, drop in your templated legal agreement or whatever it is that you want somebody to sign. And if you're looking to just capture some easy signatures for like say a work agreement or something along those lines, maybe it's internal and you have some uh, updated policies or something and you need to make sure that goes out to the whole company and that everybody signs, JotForm is a really quick and easy way to capture those signatures. Send out that email blast. You can include that information inside of your form as well by just dropping in you know, a text section. So for example, if you wanted to drop in these are the new agreements. Then you can you know, go through all of the different terms, et cetera, and then capture signatures from everybody who's using the form. And again, per JotForm's documentation, these are legally binding. So if you want to explore that a little deeper, of course, you can head on over to JotForm's support documents, but there it is in black and white. They do say, of course, this is kind of a CYA thing, but e-signatures are legally binding in almost all countries and states, but we would recommend that you consult a lawyer. Kind of par for the course, right? And I'm certainly not a lawyer and I'm certainly not offering legal advice. So of course, do consult your lawyer, but this is a great way to capture those signatures. And you do notice that JotForm mentions that it records the IP address and time of the signature so that this is all providing additional confirmation about who actually signed that document. So it's going to be very difficult for someone to sign your jot form and then try to make a claim that they did not in the future. So how then do we use this form? Well, let's take this form out for a spin. I'm going to publish it and just pop it open in a new tab. And this is what that form looks like. You know, obviously I haven't done much to the uh, formatting here. I would change the color, change the layout, etc. But these are the new agreements up. Oh, and I meant for this to just be text, so my mistake. Here I'm going to have to confirm my agreement with uh, that I agree, and it's now time to sign my name. So one thing that I wish this had was the ability for me to type my name in because I am awful at moving my mouse along my screen in a way that looks coherent, but I'll give it a shot. Yeah, not even close. But we're going to go ahead and roll with that. If I didn't like it, I could always hit the clear button. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and submit. So just as with any other jot form, of course, that information is now stored inside of my jot form and I can access it however I need to. Whatever I do with it from here is up to me. So let's take a look at Zapier and plug into Zapier really quickly and see how exactly that information comes in. So really quickly, I'm going to build an integration. My favorite way of building an integration with JotForm and Zapier is actually to use a webhook trigger. It's more efficient. It works instantaneously. But in this case, I'm going to actually use the native JotForm integration here just by selecting JotForm as my triggering app and finding the most recent form. I think it's this one at the top, the most recently created one. Let's test this out and see. And sure enough, this is the form. So these are the elements that we received. Sign your confirmation here. And then I got this long uh, URL, which is ending in .png. So if I go to that URL, we should see the actual image stored. And sure enough, it just created that it down here in the bottom. And that is the really terrible signature that I tried to put forth into that form. So we get access to the actual image, which is amazing. And then beyond that, we also see all of the other parts of that form, right? So uh, the I agree was checked off, etc. And so again, whatever you're doing from here, you can take that URL uh, and and use that image in whatever you need to. 
Now, a lot of times people do get stuck when they're trying to access an image from JotForm and pass it into another software using some sort of automation, either Zapier, Integramat, or whatever the case may be. So there is a place inside of your JotForm that you should go inside of your settings. So up in the upper right corner of your account, hit on your profile and pop open your settings. Now inside of your settings, pay special attention to the privacy section here. So you have a lot of different options in terms of making your JotForm account more secure. But if you wanna pass images, you will actually have to relax some of those security settings. Specifically, I'm looking at the fourth setting down. It says require login to view uploaded files. And this particular box by default is usually checked. And if you have it checked, you cannot pass the actual image created by JotForm or in JotForm anywhere else. So if you're using any other tool and you wanna collect those signatures and move them via automation, you must first uncheck this box in your user settings in order to do that. I hope you got a ton of value from this video and that you're excited about the new ways that you can start incorporating signatures in your documents. I know for myself, running with a document signature software is a lot more complicated. And every time we need to make updates to our work agreement or anything else like that, it's cumbersome, it's labor intensive, and I don't look forward to it. So the more you can rely on building signatures really easily in a form, the better. Save yourself the hassle and use some JotForm signatures. In the meantime, if you do want to learn more about how to automate more of your responsibilities, your job, your business, so that you can reclaim time, don't miss that webinar that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Look forward to connecting with you. I hope that you're able to attend. And even if you can't, I'll be sure to send the replay to you. So be sure to sign up at the link below and learn how to leverage more automation for your business. That's it for this video. Leave any questions you might have below in the comments. And in the meantime, keep on building. As always, I hope you found that to be extremely helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, swing by our website and see how we can help. We offer a free Airtable crash course that will help you level up in Airtable quickly. And we also have some paid services, including hourly consultations with our experts. We have some online courses and a group coaching program. And for advanced needs, we can build a bespoke solution for you from scratch. So swing on by, and I look forward to connecting with you soon.